Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have these people again with me <laughs> for another video. And today we're gonna be doing the I tried what well, we tried following um right. what's her name? Yeah. Denny. I'll have her like YouTube thing right here, but it's like Denny, Denny it's something. lava, something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, we tried following her makeup tutorial and this is the end result, so if you want to see how we got that, <laughs> keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so now we're done with the face, well, foundation, and brows. And back to the video. They take like a million years to get them done. So I also have some concealer under my eyes, but all the things that I have on my face will be down in the description box. Now, jumping straight to the eyes and taking this concealer. This is actually the foundation by uh, Catrice and taking it on a flat brush. I'm just gonna take a very, very small amount of it on this uh, brush here by BH Cosmetics and applying that from the crease all the way up to the brow bone. Crease all the way up to the brow bone. Right here. Oh, it's not on the lid. Oh, yeah, it's like. What the fuck? I've never done that. <laughs> Okay, what else does she do? Oh, nothing. I kind of blend it out a little bit with my Real Techniques makeup sponge and setting it with some face powder just so that it won't crease. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want to even up my skin tone. See how nice and smooth the skin looks on this eye. And see this one. I have some visible veins and, you know, some stuff that I want to cover up so that I have a very nice and smooth and flawless base for the eyeshadows. For the lid, I'm going to use this um, color paint Wait. here by Makeup Bar. <laughs> Did you miss something, right? Someone can actually confuse those for being uh, lip glosses or lipsticks. And these are drying out like super duper fast, so you have to be a little bit quick. Okay. I'm actually gonna switch to my finger. Okay, we don't have that colored pop thing, whatever she used, so we're just gonna use orange. Do I have orange right here? Look, same color. Oh, that's, that's pretty close. So then the palette. Oh, Jacqueline Hill palette by Morphe. Thanks, Ryan. No, I'm reading this Yeah, that's like pretty close. Just on the lid, right? And kind of press it to my skin so that you know it's it looks a little bit smoother and more okay, smoother. evenly applied. I like that it's oh <laughs> I have some on my finger. No, it's good for you, you have some on your finger. Okay. Like it's not that orange like hers. Yeah, like you can burn. Mm. What if we put some like sunscreen on it? <laughs> <laughs> to pop on them? Okay, I'm done. Yeah. It's not like super screaming yellow color. It looks kind of like a mustard, like, I don't know, it's very soft. I like it a lot. Now I'm gonna tone it down even more. So I'm taking this Zoeva matte spectrum palette looks like that i love i love the zoeva eyeshadows and i'm taking this shade right here actually actually i'm gonna mix these two colors here and i'm gonna apply that mixture in the inner half of my eye keeping it on top of that paint that i just applied all over my eyelid it's like a little bit darker than what we have right now All right, so I'm gonna warm up the other corner of my. We're using the Anastasia. We're using the Anastasia. Modern Renaissance. Renaissance. 
What is your gender? This color that right I'm here. Junior is not that pink. Okay, but it's not pink. 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 Have a Hennessy I'm still fixing mine. Close your eyes. Oh, let's see. I like this one. Like, I'm not even done with this one. My eye using this eyeshadow here. I'm taking it on the Sigma E44 and applying that in the outer corners of my eyes. Oh, As you can this see, one. I'm keeping okay. it in the outer half of my eyelid. Outer half. This Wait, one Wait one. let's use only the other. Okay. Using. Hey, that's part, I just... <laughs> Get in my crease right here. You don't want to go really high with this eyeshadow, just bring it very slightly in the crease. Okay. Now I'm gonna just go very lightly with the brush and start blending it with those yellow oh, no. kind of orange <laughs> colors oh. in the inner half. Okay, I'm also gonna add some of these. Wait, we haven't even put it on. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even do our eyeshadow like on a daily, so we don't even know what to do. So, like, what the Oh my god, can I quit? I why did I do that? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Bruh, I'm so done with this. <laughs> Why should we pick this? This brick yeah, color here and applying it in the very, very outer corner of my mask. Dark. What? You can't do that dark. No, we have to. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing either, dude. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I don't. <laughs> Look at this. Look. <laughs> I like somebody punched me. <laughs> Yo. Oh, no. Hopefully it looks better when we clean it up and all this stuff. Okay, what's next? My eye. Let's say I'm keeping it in the outer third of the eye. I suggest I start blending now because... Um... Okay, so she just did like another really dark color. Mm -hmm. I'm the brush that I was using. It was like that. really harsh so i'm going again with that orange color actually i'm gonna mix it with the one next to it so taking these two on the same brush and i'm gonna start diffusing all the harsh lines in the crease okay. i'm doing small circular motions and blending it out you don't want to have ton of product on your brush when blending out you just want to have a very small amount so that it's easier for the blending, but you don't want to add lots of eyeshadows in this area right here. You want to create a fading effect. You don't want to build up colors here. Do you have eyeliner? Oh yeah, but like... Oh, the eyeliner. Does she use liquid or pencil or what? Yes. I'm using my favorite Essence Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner to create a wink. Bro, it literally came out in like two seconds. These are the velour lashes in the style flush it. Thank you. 
った。Well, we don't have um, lashes because we don't wear lashes or eyeliner on a regular mm -hmm. lashes. Wait. That's <coughs> good. Thanks. Okay, what's this? towards the shimmery eyeshadows and something you know that is sparkly today i decided to give it all matte and i think it's actually really really pretty so moving on to the face i'm gonna add some color with this bronzer here by makeup geek it's called sun kissed um i'll show on my forehead bronzer. and i Okay, let's go ahead and finish up with the lower lash line. I'm taking again that palette by Makeup Addiction. And again, I'm mixing these um, two colors here. And with the Sigma E30, I'm applying them along my lower lashes. I'm basically smudging them uh, with the tip of that brush in between my lashes. Fernando, <laughs> shut to blend it out, taking some of that orangey shade from that Zuiva um, Matte Spectrum Palette and with the Morphe mm. M506, I'm blending it out. Coating my lower lashes with some mascara. You guys know that I, I avoid doing that, but I think that this look deserves it. And after that, I'm also yes. adding some black Where's pencil that? in my waterline. My so neighbors what? decided to destroy their apartment today. I'm sorry if you can hear them. <laughs> my eyebrow. Okay. Easy tea. Okay, okay. Okay, for her lips, I'm gonna first apply this color. Oh, yeah. nude color. I she, she put like black eyeliner. Like on her waterline? Yeah. Dude, look at the. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a matte lipstick by Maybelline, and the shade is 930. Okay. Do you have a name? <laughs> On top of it, just a tiny little bit of this um, Too Faced liquid lipstick called Naughty by Nature. That might be a little bit too much, but we'll see. And taking my finger, I'm gonna blend it out. Okay, so she is like a dark. Okay, and last thing that I want to do, I'm going to add some of that highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes. And that's going, going to complete this look. And this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you like how it turned out. I love the eye look. I just... Oh, I'm going to Look at that guy walking over here. Just look at me. But anyways, yeah. Comment down below. And hope you guys like this video.